Uh, well, good morning, folks. Back out of Max and Kentucky for the first time in what feels like months, but I think it's only been about a month and a half. It's jam-packed. I got here at 6 this morning, and it was already jam-packed. There was room for a couple trailers, so I got lucky there. But we're just going to try to catch some fish between the crowd. It's going to get busy. I'll probably be quiet because there's boats all around me everywhere I go and uh, try to catch some fish. So that's all we're going to do. Do the things I like to do. I'm going to throw some wacky rig. I'm going to throw some chatterbait. I'm going to throw some drop shot and uh, whatever else I got up here. Jerk bait, maybe get a walleye. We'll just see what happens. Just out here to kill about six hours. And uh, I don't know, hopefully we, hopefully we get into some and not all tiny ones. So let's go. Not a bad little start. Decent. There's a fish. Good fish too. All fish feel like good fish when you're fishing this way. He's got some fight in him. There we go. First little smallmouth. We'll take that. Believe it or not, 14 and a half. And oh no, he's got somebody's drop shot in him. Look at this. I, was, I swear, folks, this is probably 15 pound line, too. That's really thick. That's a shame. I'll cut it short, but that's a dang shame. That's awful. There's no way to get it out without hurting him. There's one. Another nice little smallie. I hope you got that jump. That was awesome. He's little, though. <laughs> you can't beat these little smallies. He's not that little. Son, he's got a lot of spunk. He's not as big as this rod's trying to make you think, but he's... <laughs> Stuck in a weed there. Look at that. That's awesome. Hey, probably a keeper. Barely. Nah, little bitty guy, little feisty guy. Man, that was fun. Yeah, that's only about a 13 incher. I'm not even gonna measure him, I don't need to, but you see the fight he put on there? And that medium duty rod, or whatever you call it? That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, you can't beat that. I know it's not big, not impressive, but that's a lot of fun. People love to knock the wacky rig, especially the young generation. Listen. Knock it all you want. It's one of my favorite things to throw. When it's nice and calm out, and the bite's not super aggressive, and it's not overly weedy, yeah, knock the wacky rig all you want, turds. Decent fish. Well, I don't know, swimming right at me. Kind of surprised me, honestly. Oh, you know who it is. You know who had to come say hi. Oh, I've hooked him all over the damn place too. Oh, almost fell down. Mister, oh, almost stepped on the damn jerk bait. Mr. Walter had to come and say hi. All right, can't beat that. Not a keeper, but Fun. He's a pirate now, unfortunately, but that's the price pay when you fish with jerk baits. There's another one. Seems bigger. Right in those weeds. 
Oh my God. Tony's gonna freak out. Please don't lose him. This is the first time I've caught one of these. It's huge too. I'll make a video out of just this. Oh my God, it's scary. Oh, it's gone. Oh, it's gone. I was trying to hurry. I was trying to light the camera. Folks, that was a, I don't know, 30 plus inch gar. Absolute giant. And it, <laughs> it's little bitty mouth was open at the surface of the water. Gave me the heebie-jeebies. That's the first time I've ever caught one. Seen thousands, always tried to catch them all the way from a kid, but never could get them on the hook. And that sucker bit the jerk bait at about 15 feet of water. And I didn't get to show you. I don't know if I even could have shown you. I don't know how I had to hold it. I'd probably have been to the hospital. But take my word for it. That was giant gar. First time I ever had one on the hook. So I thought when he come through the uh, the water so clear, I thought I was fighting a weed. Because you know how they're real long and skinny? I thought I was just fighting a clump of weeds. And then it took off swimming. Oh, that was really cool. And I wish I had a chest cam on. Because uh, that would have looked really cool. But like I said, take my word for it. Giant gar. Good fish too. I don't know what it is, but it's a good one. It's a good size smallmouth. Not a huge one, but geez, he's jumping all over the place. Don't come off. Boy, he's stuck in the weeds. Come on. Not a huge one, don't get too excited, but he's fighting like crazy. It's a nice one. Definitely a nice fat one. Deep. I'll take him. Another 15, he might be 16. On the jerk bait. Got all three hooks in him too. Not even that big, a lot feistier than the other one. It felt like he was bigger, but 14 inches, so not too bad. There's one. That's a good one, I think. Nice jump. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Hopefully I got him hooked really good. That's a nice one. Solid fish. Long guy. Boy, he inhaled that thing. Too. Good looking fish. Long fish. Didn't fight as hard as the others, but that's a long guy. All right, so that was a nice one. Maybe a two pounder. Uh, it got a little hurried because he was bleeding. Got it down right behind the tongue. I mean, not even that deep, but got it right behind the tongue. So I stuck him in the live well with some G-Juice for a minute. Hopefully I can get him some air and get him out there. Not a huge fish, but a nice one. And I don't want to kill him if I don't have to, that's for sure. All right, we caught a handful of fish. Uh, nothing impressive, some fun fish. Wish I would have got to show you the gar. First time I've ever had one on the hook. I've always been snapped at and almost caught gar, but that's the first one I've had on a hook and it was giant, long. I wish I could have showed you guys. I don't know how I would have held it. I'd probably have been scared like a little girl. It was very scary with these little mouth. But at any rate, uh, it's getting super, super choppy because of all the traffic. So let's just try to catch a couple more and get out of here. And uh, that's it. It's been a fun day, not an impressive day, but listen, that's what I love about Max. You can fish how you want to fish. And maybe my style of fish isn't conducive to catching the biggest fish in this lake, but always catch a random variety of species and I love it. So let's see if we can get a few more. Get out of here. Yeah, buddy. Hey, a couple frogfish make you feel better. That's for damn sure. Ooh, he's got it funny. That's 
That's a solid Max and Cookie fish right there. Can't complain. Cannot complain. We've got our nine pounds. I'm sure that's what we got. All right, I'm done. It's too busy and it's way too hot. My shirt is sticking to me. My underwear is sticking to me. It's hot. It's 90 some degrees, so super humid, and I'm done. I've been out here four and a half hours. We caught a, a, a decent amount of fish, really did. Caught them all kinds of different ways, between jerk bait, uh, wacky rig, chatter bait, frog. I mean, some of my favorite ways to fish, we caught fish and we caught like, I don't know how many species, gar, walleye, largemouth, smallmouth, perch. Typical Max and Cucky stuff. It's why I love this lake, but it's a little too busy right now. And bad news is I tried to revive that smallmouth that I tongue hooked and after 30 seconds he died. I feel bad. I love Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew helps heal them, and I don't have any in here. I feel I feel pretty stupid about that. Uh, me and Tony were just talking about making sure we keep Mountain Dew in here, and with, especially with this warm weather and whatever. So he's dead. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna go home now, clean him up, put him on a sandwich. It's not quite lunchtime, so within the next hour, hour and a half, he's gonna be a sandwich. So let's go do that. All right. Excuse the mess. I almost forgot. I was eating my sandwich. It's almost gone. I'm gonna have another. That's that small mouth that I accidentally uh, gut hooked. Uh, the fillets were really thick, so I cut them in half to make them that nice. I like them about that thick. That's how I like them. And I just crushed up, uh, what is that, hot Cheetos and did a basic egg wash and coated them in hot Cheetos. And it's good. It's really good. I'm going to have another sandwich. So if you accidentally kill a small mouth, not that I'm going to encourage anybody to kill any bass at all. But if you're gonna keep them, keep the smaller ones. And if you accidentally kill one, take it home, fillet it. Don't just let it sit there and rot. And uh, it's actually not bad. Have yourself a lunch. This sucker was swimming an hour and a half ago and I'm about to finish him off for lunch. So yes, smallmouth do make good sandwiches. Till next time.